Welcome to the Lore News Link, brought to you by the Michigan Department of Licensing and Regulatory Affairs, where we are always customer-driven and business-minded. I'm Neva Savillas, your host for this edition. Beginning September 1st, Michigan minimum wage rates will increase. The new Workforce Opportunity Wage Act, Public Act 138 of 2014, applies to employers in Michigan with two or more employees aged 16 and older. The current minimum wage is $7.40. The rate increases to $8.15 on September 1, 2014 and will increase incrementally until it reaches $9.25 in 2018. Public Act 138 is enforced by the Wage and Hour Program within the Michigan Occupational Safety and Health Administration, MIOSHA. For more information including guidelines related to tipped employees, minors, training wages and more, visit michigan.gov slash wage hour. During the 2013-2014 heating season, many Michigan propane customers and dealers faced problems when tight supplies developed. As a result, the Michigan Public Service Commission, MPSC, has issued a new consumer tip sheet to help propane users stay ahead of the game this coming season. To learn more about these tips and to discuss what factors led to the supply shortage, the NewsLink spoke with MPSC Chairman John Quackenbush. We really don't know if there's going to be challenges this winter like last year. We know that last winter was certainly unusual, but we need to be prepared in case this winter has unusual weather events as well. A lot of weather factors conspired all at the same time to cause the problem. First thing, we had a late harvest and a wet crop which caused a lot of propane in the late fall to be used. We started the heating season with a low inventory. Then we had an early cold spell uh, that persisted relentlessly for the winter for the most part. So we had high demand and starting with low inventory and adding to that transportation challenges in getting the propane transported to Michigan, all those things happened to cause the short supply. Well, the state of Michigan is taking action. There's a cross-agency collaborative team that's gotten together and met several times to plan for this coming winter. One of the things for low-income customers, for instance, there's heating uh, assistance available. Uh, calling 211 can get information for customers. Uh, that will be available as early as October 1 this year. Moreover, we have a website that's been created, michigan.gov slash propane. On that website is a lot of useful information, including a list of questions that customers can potentially ask a uh, propane dealer that they're uh, dealing with, as well as information about contacting the attorney general about any pricing concerns. Also, the Michigan Public Service Commission has prepared a uh, customer tips sheet on propane that will be available and has a lot of very useful information for propane customers. Now is a great time for propane customers to take early action. It's important to get an early fill as well as provide uh, to lock in a price for future fills. In addition, some uh, propane suppliers offer budget plans, which now would be a great time to sign up for, for one of those. To view the complete list of consumer tips, visit the website michigan.gov slash propane or the MPSC website at michigan.gov slash MPSC. In observance of Labor Day, the Unemployment Insurance Agency will be closed on Monday, September 1st. However, unemployed workers will still be able to claim their benefits online through their MyWAM account or by phone through Marvin. Because of the holiday, there may be a one or two day delay before the benefits are directly deposited into the bank accounts or loaded onto the debit cards of unemployed workers. The Labor Day holiday is observed by Michigan State government and most financial institutions. For more information about the Unemployment Insurance Agency and claiming unemployment benefits, visit michigan.gov slash UIA. And that concludes this edition of the Laura News Link. To stay connected with all the latest information, be sure to like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. And as always, you can subscribe to the Laura YouTube page. 
So until next time, thanks for watching and take care.